Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I never really know what to say at the beginning. So today I thought I'd do like a Christmas-ish makeup tutorial. I thought like maybe I'd do a cranberry kind of eye makeup. And also I saw Selena Gomez at the AMAs and she had this like really nice like reddish cranberry eye. And so I didn't do that, but I used like, you know, that kind of color scheme. So yeah, it's like really easy and I think it's a nice look. If you're gonna go to some Christmas parties because that's starting, right? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no, I'm sure that's not how you dance at Christmas parties. <laughs> if you guys are like me and you have like a really big family and you always have get togethers and eat and all that stuff, like obviously like my family really doesn't care what's on my face and they're usually like, you know makeup, you look prettier! <laughs> but you just want to get like dressed up, right? Especially if it's like a friends get together or like maybe a work party. So I think this is a really nice look. So yeah, if you guys are interested in how to get this look, just keep watching. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. Mmm, so fresh. Actually, my skin has been so dry lately. Especially the nose, the nose always flakes away. And the forehead in this like weird cheek area, so dry. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm gonna use this um, YSL Touch Eclat Illuminating Foundation. And it is so good. If you wanna spend a bit more on a high-end foundation that's kind of sheer, but looks really natural, I would recommend this one. Yeah, so it just gives a really nice like glow to the skin. Now to highlight the eyes, I'm using the um, NYX HD Concealer. And popping that under there. So I got a H&M nail polish, which is this one. And they're actually really good, like really good. I was kind of hesitant on buying it because I was like, H&M Cosmetics. And you know, you just think they're gonna be like kind of crappy, but it's really good. The brush is really nice and fat, so it like fits over the entire nail really nicely. And the formula of the nail polish is really nice too. It's not like streaky. And yeah, just pleasantly surprised. Okay, now to contour. I want it really natural and I find like using cream contours make it look more like subtle. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl. Um, it's like a dark concealer in five, six, seven. What? Anyway, that's the shade, five, six, seven. So I'm just gonna run that under here, and then here, and then carve out the nose I always wanted. Oh my God, <laughs> that reminds me. Okay, so I was in LA, and we were getting ready, had my contour game on strong, <laughs> and then I walked out the door, and Mia, my friend, is like, What's under your chin? And I didn't blend these lines out. <laughs> How embarrassing. You're just like walking out with two tribal lines under your chin. Fail! Fail. Hard. So yeah guys, be weary. Blend this guy out. <laughs> I would have lost all credibility. Or I would have looked like Hercules. The most defined jawline ever. Now going in with the shade and light palette, I'm just gonna dust um, that middle highlight shade under the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I want it like nice and cranberry color. I think it's like really nice and warm. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm gonna go into this one and it's called Morocco and pop that into the crease first. And then I'm gonna go in with a more tapered brush and take this shade here, which is called Fudge, and it's just a really warm, rich, dark brown. And then pop that just into the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. To the outer corner. Now I just feel like I say the same thing all the time, so yes. Don't mind me. So take it all the way in. And don't take it as high up as that uh, first shade we put in because this is just kind of concentrated in the socket. Now I'm going to spray my brush, this flat shader brush with a bit of the Smashbox water as well. If you don't have this, you can actually just use eye drops. So I'm using this Pony um, eyeshadow palette from Mimi Box. And I just love this bronze shade here. 
and this peach shade. So I'm going to dab a bit of both and then just pat it all over the lid. I'm just gonna go back in and kind of blend that out. And I kind of want it a bit more like pop. So I'm gonna go in with the Olivia Palermo shadow palette, and then take this one here and pop it just in the center. Uh, this shadow palette is so pretty. And then I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more with the dark brown. If you guys had three options, you could be smart, mentally stable, or beautiful. And you could only pick two. What would you pick? So if you choose beautiful and mentally stable, you're not smart. <laughs> so yeah, what would you guys choose? I sit and ponder about these types of questions all the time in my spare time. Weirdo. Before I tell you my answer, we're just gonna pop a bit of highlight on um, our brow bone and the inner corners. And I'm just gonna use that same pretty shade there. Oh, it's so cliche though, you're like, I don't need to be beautiful. But everyone wants to be beautiful, right? <gasps> I would definitely need, need to be smart. Cause I don't know how that feels. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd want to be smart and out of like street smart and book smart, I think I'd rather be street smart because I think that's more like, it's like common sense and I think common sense takes you a long way. You know, just like being able to get things and live on your own and like not be dependent. So smart and also I like mentally stable people, you know, you're not like a hazard, a mental hazard. <laughs> Right now, I'm like a mentally stable person, like nothing really phases me. So can I just take that and apply the next two that I want and then I'll be the trifactor, yo! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would be smart and mentally stable because, yes, you can always enhance your beauty. <laughs> Thanks, Korea. <laughs> but I think if you're mentally stable, then you don't need, like, you know, what gives you happiness because you know who you are type of thing and you're not really phased by extreme is it extraneous variables external variables that kind of like impact your life and even if they do you'll be able to handle it because you're just mentally stable like that so that's my answer maybe i should put in fine print if you don't choose beautiful you can't get surgery ha now what let me know what you guys choose in the comments below. I really want to know, actually. All right, so for blush, I'm going in with the Hourglass palette and using Luminous Bronze Light. These blushes are so pretty. It doesn't even look like, you know, powder on your face. It just looks like face. Because I want to be extra glowy and sparkly for the Christmas festive season, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Becker Champagne Pop and then take a little bit more of that and put it on top. Whoa! 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 Can you see it? So like, this one is much more prominent. Like this is Boom, oh my god, you got highlighter on your face, girl! So for lips, I'm gonna go in with this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo. It's like a nude peach. And I have a discount code for you guys, which gets you 40% off any of these liquid lipsticks if you want, so it'll be in the description box. I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Lipstick in Richard. And then to seal the deal so you can eat all the stuff you want without your face lighting off, just use a makeup setting spray. Spray it like it's the end of 2015. <laughs> and we're done! <laughs> um, yeah, so I had no hope with the hair today. It's raining outside and we were like blowing in the wind and it gets all frizzy, so yeah. 
let's just concentrate on the makeup situation. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Bye! Bye!